Alright, so this is question 10. Let's go by writing question A. The vectors A is equal to 3i plus 4i and B is equal to negative 4i plus 2j are such that A dot B or the dot product of A and B is equal to 2p. Find the value of P. So how do we find the value of P here? First, let's copy the, the vectors, the way they look. We've got uh, vector A right here, which is equal to uh, 3i plus 4j. And vector B is right here, is equal to negative 4i plus 2j. And the, there's a very important point which says that uh, the dot product of these two vectors is equal to 2p. So how do we calculate for p? How do we find p? Very simple. We just need to find the dot product. So the dot product here of uh, vector a and uh, b will just be to multiply 3 times z, negative 4, which is z, negative 12. 4 times z, 2 which is 8 and when we work out things here we find that uh, our dot product is equal to 4 so since we have found the dot product to be equal to 4 so we can say negative 4 is equal to 2p we divide by 2 divide by 2 our p will be equal to negative 2 so this is our solution Let's check out the next question. The next question, they want us to find the unit vector in the direction of B. We know our vector B is equal to negative 4i plus 2j. This is our vector B. So now, to find the unit vector, we can use the formula, or we need to use the formula vector B. Uh, vector B cap this cap shows that it's a unit vector is equal to vector B itself over its magnitude so we can write vector B here is negative 4i plus 2j over the modulus or the magnitude let me say the magnitude of, uh, of, 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 of B of vector B here can be found by using this method what is our our i is a negative 4 so you say negative 4 squared plus 2 squared you solve you find that uh, we have a 16 right here plus a 4 which is equal to 20 root of 20 and the root of 20 can be written as 2 multiplied by square root of 5 so this is what we need to put here 2 multiplied by the square root of 5 so this is our unit vector we go to question B for question B right here we've been told to find the angle between vectors so to find the angle between vectors we need to know this formula This is the formula we have to know. So on top here, it's a dot product. Right here is magnitude of vector A and magnitude, magnitude of vector B. So uh, we say our A is right here, 3, 4, and our B will be uh, 5, negative 12, according to what we've been given. So this is our vector A and vector B. So now we can find our dot product by simply multiplying this. So it will be 3 times Z, 12, which is equal to 15, minus or plus, since it's, there's a negative here, it will just be minus, 12, uh, 4 times Z, 12. So what is 12? 4 times 12? It's 48. And when we work out, we find that our dot product is 
negative 33 right here so here what we need to put on top is negative 33 we'll keep it we've just calculated negative 33 we go to the next one we need to find the magnitude of vector a so vector a the magnitude of vector a will be equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared which is equal to 9 plus uh, 16 when we work out here we'll find uh, 25 so what is the root of 25 is 5 so write our 5v right here 5 times magnitude of b okay which is equal to uh, root of 5 plus root of 12 this is the 25 plus 144 when we work out things here we'll, we'll, find, we'll end up with the, uh, 169 root of 169 is 13 so we found the mag uh, magnitude of b to be 13 we'll put this magnitude of uh, of b which is 13 so we have something like this cos theta is equal to negative 3 3 which is 33 over 5 times 13 okay clean up here so here we we'll find the cos inverse of negative 33 over 65 because if we say 5 times uh, 13, it's 65. So what is the cost inverse of, of this stuff? You just punch on your calculator, it will be 120.5 degrees. So this is the, the angle. That's how we calculate the angle between the vectors. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like my video.